So what we're going to do is uh, we've logged into the DVR. I'm at a live view right now. To verify the video, I want to back up. The first thing I want to do is uh, do a quick search for it. So I hit my search tab at the top of the screen. I'm on today's date, and what I'm going to do is, uh, obviously, if I wanted to look at, say, yesterday or the day before, let's take a peek at Tuesday. I can click on Tuesday, and then I can uh, decide uh, which one of the uh, channels I want to view. In this case, let's view all four, and I'll do a search of that. That's going to pull up my files for uh, Tuesday, and this is all my activity. What I'm looking for is today. I'll go to the 10th. If I wanted to do a previous month, I could go to March and look at March or February, depending on the size of my hard drive. But uh, we're looking for April 10th. So I'm on April 10th, and I'm going to go on just channel number one. So I'm unclicking the bank of uh, channels and just clicking on one, do a search. And this shows my time frame 0, 100 through 4, 5, and it looks like we're not quite at... Uh, five o'clock when we're getting in this morning. But I'm gonna hit play and I don't need to enter the time. If I wanted to put in a different time, uh, I could do that say noon. I don't wanna see the first file of the day. In this case, I'm looking for the very first file of the day. I'm gonna leave it blank and just hit the play button. And this is showing me that at uh, 5, 14 and 54 seconds um, that uh, she entered uh, the store and is just now getting there and getting set up. So if I want to keep a permanent record of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my Backup tab, click on that, and uh, I'm going to do a search, and I'm just going to put in 0500. I know there were no videos prior to that because I've already looked at the, the, the span. And I'll put in 05, I'm sorry, yeah, 0559, so one hour cycle. And again, I'm turning off the bank, just showing the events for channel number one. Hit the search. And the reason I don't have to be specific on my time is once I enter that, it's pulling all the events for that one hour. And then I pick which one I'm looking for. And it's here at 514 and 49 seconds. I'm going to check mark that. I'm going to uh, see the file path in which I want to save that information. If I'm not sure, if I haven't uh, done this already, click on browse and I can say make a new file folder tell it where I want to put my files In this case I've called it DVR backup files and I'm gonna click OK and now I'm gonna hit backup and it's asking me codec component is required so I'm gonna say yes at the bottom of the screen down here it's asking me if I want to run or save the file I'm gonna save as and I'm going to tell it to put it in the DVR backup file folder and the name of the file is the H264 codec so that looks good I'm going to hit save uh, all right. yes and then I'm going to run it it was already on my computer so uh, it told me that but uh, just for the sake of this video I'm going to go ahead and now close down this and it just finished downloading the file if I had done that a little quicker, it would show 60%, 70, 80, 90, and then when it finishes. So it looks like I'm all done here. To confirm I've got the proper video, I'm just going to minimize this real quick, open up that file folder, and there's my codec file, and then the uh, video incident, and they're labeled. So here's a camera one, the start time and stop time of the video, and I'm just going to double click it to make sure that's the video that I was looking for. And uh, there she is walking in and this shows the date and time stamped on the video at 514 and 58 seconds about 15 minutes later than we wanted her to be there this morning so what I'm going to do is um, a couple of things I could do with that file I could take this file and just drag it over to CDRW disk um, or if I want to I can simply just email it police detective needs a video file or I want to send this to my employee saying do me a favor and uh, please arrive on time. Sometimes that's very effective. So I'll right click that and I'm just going to send to mail recipient and then I can enter their email address and uh, whatever notes I want to put on there or send it to a police detective or whatever else I need to do with the file. So that's all there is to it. Hope this was helpful. If uh, it uh, made things simpler for you and you enjoy this, give us a like down there on the video. Just click on that. You liked it subscribe to our channel and we appreciate you uh, watching uh, videos
from American Wireless Alarm. You can go to our website at awafl.com and see other how-to videos on security products and uh, video surveillance. Thanks and have a great day.